If you're screaming at us for the item number, <gasps> I'm going to give it to you right now because we have not had the Hegs here at TVSN for a long, long time. So over six months, I think. So let's give you the details. You're getting 180 pegs. 49717 is the item number and it is called the Mega Value Deal. It's the Hegs Pegs 10 pack. Are you getting the blue? You're getting the pink at 59.95. That's around about 33 cents a peg and you're going to have them for Ever and ever and ever. Now you saw. Oh, look at that purchase we purchased for three ninety five. Sorry, um, b b before we move on, another ten yellow pegs. But this this is such a great story that we have here at TVSN. Welcome, Scott. Thanks very much. Good the to be here. The owner, inventor. I am. I'm so excited to meet you. I'm very humbled to be here. I wish I was hanging out the washing, but no, that's not the case. It's a beautiful day. <laughs> not today. You don't need to hang out the washing today. But you do need to talk to us about your Hegs because sure. they are so clever, just so innovative. And I think we were saying before, and it says in that story, that the peg had not been reinvented in a hundred years or more. Correct. Really, it's only gone through three phases. Originally, it was a piece of wood with a split down the middle, and then it went in 1983. A bloke from America decided to put a spring in the middle of two pieces of wood mm -hmm. and then of course it went from wood to plastic but it's really really never done anything different that's right in 160 years gosh until the head wow. that's right <laughs> so you were standing at the clothesline one day yes and tell everybody the rest of the story okay what i was uh, i was pulling out my wife's black dress and when i uh, picked it up it was a cocktail dress i actually tried to peg it on and trying to peg it on was very hard and i looked up and i thought if i put a couple of hooks on that peg it would make it easy and sure enough, it did. But I did the same thing what everyone does for about four months. Okay. Nothing. <laughs> okay. Don't we have ideas all the time and we do nothing about yes, them? Yes, so, absolutely. But over those four months, every time I brought out the washing, I realised that 40% of the washing, my kids' skirts and pants and my business pants and my jeans and mm -hmm. bras and knickers mm -hmm. and tops could be hooked up, not pegged up. up right. And that's where I started to go, that's it, I'm actually going to make this happen. That's the H. That that that's is the, the H, That's yes. the hook part of it, the H, and that's how it became Hegs, because we married the two words together. Exactly. Okay, but there's so much more to this story. So then your idea, um, you know, came to life. You probably went and did some drawings or whatever, CAD stuff. That's correct. And then did you think to yourself, gosh, I'm going to go on that show. Yeah. Because you were very brave to go on that show. The one called Shark Tank? Yes. Yes, yeah, it, I did. Shark Tank was amazing. There At the it time, is. It was, there it is, coming up now. At the time, it was uh, one of those... Uh, things that I had invented the Hegg, put it out to market, but how do you actually get people to buy something that's never existed before? Yes. So we needed marketing. Uh -huh. Of course, I went out there and thought, if I could get on Shark Tank, I'd suddenly have 800,000 people that know what a Hegg is. Right. Sure enough, we got on Shark Tank, we did it, and now, hopefully, more than 800,000 people know what a Hegg is. I do there's now. There. Look, yeah. there's Naomi so that's, there. So that factory there is actually in Australia. They are 100% Australian made. Right. Uh, that is in South Australia. Mm -hmm. And coming off the production line, they actually warm as we're touching them there. You must be blown away. Now, you've got a factory making this amazing product, and it is an award-winning product. Tell us about your awards. It is. We won the International Good Design Award. Goodness. Up against the world, there was uh, big companies. I won't name them today. Sure. But imagine the homewares companies that we're up against. Yeah. And we stood and we won the International Good Design Award. An amazing feat for an Australian company. There it is. If you have a little look, you can't put that up there if it is not the case. And it is for this incredible product. Okay, um, a Good Design Award. Yeah, oh my gosh, that must be sitting in the pride of place like a Logie in some... It was. Some you moment. couldn't wipe the smile off my face, as you can see. <laughs> look at that. <laughs> well done, you. All right. Well, let's get into the deal today and sure. let's get into why these have become so popular. Absolutely. We'll start here. I'll spin it around and go feature by feature instead mm -hmm. of telling you them all at once. Mm -hmm. The obvious one, the jewel hook design. Yeah. Simply the holding the straps but also you can hold multiple items on one head there's two i mean you could hook another couple of bras on exactly. there if you want to yeah great for a purchase now in winter coming up because a lot of people go ahead and bring their lines so instead of outside they'll use their clothes horses or Period. errors or whatever you call them yes so now you've got a space saving item that you can use a head and hang multiple items on your clothesline so it's a multitasking it, head it is yeah it was originally called the heg's peg oh. and then it became the heg's multi-purpose peg because <laughs> yeah. they ended up in my pantry they've ended up in the boat <laughs> And caravans. Of and they're course. All, they're all over the place. And, and that's why I guess today is a, is a big bulk pack. Yeah. Because we've noticed every time we come on, we sell out. Yes. Uh, so what we're doing is saying, buy 10, give some to your mothers and brothers and sisters and cousins, and then share the love. It's Australian-made product. I, but as you said, they can sort of morph into being other things within the home. Um, in the laundry, outside on the clothesline, in the pantry. The chip packets. The chip packets, yeah. that's what I'm thinking. <laughs> um, so when we say 180 pegs for this price, that's exactly what you're going to get. You can share the love if you wish to. But my suggestion is, when you first get them home, put them in different places around the house yes. and see 
how incredible they are going to be in terms of changing the way you do things and making those tasks easier that once used to be very difficult and cumbersome and you lost time doing them basically, like hanging out the washing. That's correct. So you're getting blue. Where is it? There it is over there. Yes, you've the got the, uh, over there, you've got the, uh, these eerie colours right here. You've got the pink, mm -hmm. the, the aqua, aqua, as we like to call it. Yes. The yellow, and of course the corporate colour is orange. We've been on before selling orange. We're selling you colours now, which you just can't go and buy at the store. You have to buy them here on TVSN. Yeah, and nowhere else. We've that's got right. it. Oh my gosh, that's so exciting. Now things are getting very, very busy on the phones. Congratulations if you are on the phones. Um, but please be patient or go through on our website. Speedy Order, Easy Order is also available. 49717 is the item number 5995 very busy hour we've got extra people up in the call center they are trying to get to your calls you have a 30-day money-back guarantee with this you're getting award-winning product you're getting Australian made and owned you're getting a patented design you're getting something that we all need every single day even if you're using the clothes horses that's correct so let's yep. go through the features in this graphic because obviously you put this together so that we can get a very simple idea Scott I did I'll go with the top one, the ergonomic wire grip. This one's for the blokes. Okay. This was me, big thumbs. I wanted to put a nice big thumbprint right there on the top. Nice big thumbprint on the top with a little kick off at the end. It simply is, I got tired of little tiny pegs that you kept on spinning around, so to put a nice big, so blokes get out there and start hanging up the washing. Love it. The second one is the stainless steel spring uh, right there in the center, tired of rust. Yep. Absolutely tired of rust. And the other big one is the UV, which you can't see inside, but there's UV protecting injected into this. Mm. Because when I used to go sweeping, I'm quite a tall bloke. Yep. I used to hit the basket as it was hanging. All the pegs would fall on the ground, mm -hmm. bust open. I'd spend the next 30 minutes cleaning up pegs. So I thought, that's it. Time to put some UV in and make them last longer and be protected. Yeah, and they don't corrode. That's correct. Or exactly. snap at the top. That's exactly right. Yeah. And that's the point. So that's a couple of features. And this one here, the jeans here, when you lift your jeans out, you actually, they're quite heavy. Mm. So by usually what you do is flip them over the line you put a peg on there and then you have to take twice as long for them to dry yep. because you can't get that airflow by putting them and hooking them on yes. you can lift them aside you get that airflow traveling through right. and they dry a lot quicker and you've just literally hooked them on through the belt loops exactly right perfect yeah i mean okay. imagine i know we all have us oh. every single bloke in the world pretty much wear jeans or pants, pants. every day yep. so now hook them up and dry quicker all i'm just going to move them shorts all the pajama pants the amount of things you've got, the loops oh, on is incredible. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, so undies with loops. Oh, I didn't know they made those. Uh, yeah, no, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> but you'll just use the peg part of that's it. Correct, exactly. Yeah. And that's the point. We didn't want to change the peg. The peg is over 100, 200, 300 years old. You won't change the peg. No. But by adding the hooks, you've got that value add now. Yeah. It's the reinvention of the peg. I love it. Here, by another feature down the bottom there, uh, the ball on the end of the, uh, the peg there is quite around instead mm -hmm. of that sharp grips that mm -hmm. you usually mm -hmm. end up with you know with yeah. the other oh, pegs yes. you end up with a grip yes or they've got like four jagged Please areas marks. Little bit. correct well as you can see i've had that on for about an hour and a half now there's not a peg mark on it because i was about to say you would be banned from hanging my washing out if like you hung that? a shirt exactly like that exactly right i put it there for purpose i wouldn't usually hang it out like i know either. i know <laughs> um, but, but, right. but literally just to show you that there's no mark left there that's correct yeah right. and it is it's just it's just that soft um soft feel on it right inside yeah. Yeah. okay it's and then you different. also have got the longer i have yeah by what's happened here by lifting that hinge i'm going to direct that down by lifting that hinge three quarters of the way up which is on that hero shot next to you really yes um three quarters but you end up with a 22 mil opening mm -hmm. which is a really big opening for large items Items like blankets and socks and I'm going to show you that exactly. in a minute whereas if you walk outside right now and go and see your pegs you'll notice there's a spring right in the center you end up with about a 12 mil opening and that doesn't give you enough purchase on socks and blankets and and towels and they and pop bath off. mats bath mats bath mats they pop off that's what happens they don't stretch far enough and then your item ends up on the floor so talk to the stainless steel spring because I love this I yeah, love a bit the, of stainless steel. The stainless steel spring, that was a big part of it. I, I just decided, I, I looked at all my things. If they weren't plastic, they had a spring in it. Mm -hmm. And if they had a spring in it, they weren't stainless steel. Right. So they rusted. Yeah. It was a simple decision. Absolutely. It was very simple. I yeah. decided that was what I wanted to do. It's about having a quality peg. Aren't you tired of pegs breaking? Absolutely. Very much so. Yeah. So I thought, that's it. We're not going to do that anymore. Well, what you end up with, and I'm sure this is, I can relate to the girls at home, because I'm a hanging on the line gal um, and on the dryer um, at, in the backyard when yes. the sun's out. I, I want to be able to hang up, up and know that my white sheets that I just spent a lot of time washing and a lot of money on cleaning yes. are going to stay in the place that I put them and not on the floor below or that's the correct. Path, path below. And that so often happens, not to dish diss anyone else, but if the peg is corroding, yep. it's going to give at some point. Exactly. And by having that hinge three quarters of the way up, you actually end up with an extra 
third of purchase to hold it on. Fantastic. So good. I'm so going to stay here for two seconds. Oh, sure. This one here, just to uh, ask your viewers right now, I guarantee you if I ask the question, do you leave your pegs on the line or do you take them off? <laughs> it's a 50-50 answer pretty much every time. <laughs> so what we did was we increased a little that little hole by about uh, or just a fraction of a mil larger than a regular line. Yeah. And then I'm going to turn that around that way for you. Yeah. <laughs> And then what it does up here, it allows you to move them aside. So you don't have to take them off anymore. Just move them aside. They're UV injected. They're protected. They're stainless steel. They're strong. Leave them on the line. Just move them aside. So you're saving time now. Exactly. You don't have to find a basket to put them right. in, to bring them back out, and etc. So there awesome. you go. Another little value add. I love this it. This is just showing you the multiple item again. The multiple item. There's another dress. You can, yep. you can even save that yourself a hegg as well. You can go. You're correct. You can save yourself a hegg. You can put multiple. And uh, to be honest, if you really wanted to, you could even put more on there, couldn't you? It's uh, the thinner the straps, the more you can put on. There's, there's your clothes horse idea, the air at home. You can load it up. Load it up and, and, and really enable you to go ahead and, get, like, this is, gonna dry, this is now going to dry without any marks and it'll probably dry nice and not have to be ironed. All of these tops won't have to iron those because they're hanging nice and straight Correct. without any crumpling and without going over the line. I've seen my daughters do that. They nearly get into big trouble. Exactly. Every single, don't do that to your tops, girls, because yeah. then I have to iron them. Yeah. Now, we've got more over here. We do. I'm show you. This is a, this is a cracker and um, this is quite interesting. I, I never realised how many people actually put their clothes on a coat hanger yep. and then hang them out. I never realised. We're just seeing this overlay though of your, sort of your original idea. Yes. So, so that where, where the hook came into play. That is correct. Yeah, with the ha with the dress going on there, it is the uh, black strap or the little spaghetti straps that uh, right. the there's the multi-saving uh, purpose. The wind, the wind factor, the wind lock feature is a really interesting one. Windy places, it will not come off. Wind doesn't send it up and down. Wind rotates and keep, keeps that centrifugal force. So now you've got your, your, your delicate item. I mean, you spend hundreds of, hundreds of dollars on, on, on bras and dresses. Yes. You don't want them falling off into the mud. No. So by uh, using our wind lock feature, you've got yourself a nice, safe, uh, safe protective. Absolutely. Um, and towels, hey, big yeah. items. That's great. Towels, this is the demonstration we have right here as she's putting up. Yep. And I'm going to show you that in a second. Uh, the towels is a really interesting one. Uh, the little tiny pegs don't work. No. They do not work. Mm -mm. So by using this feature, you actually can actually put it once or twice or a bath mat. I like what she's, what she's doing there. She's kind of using the pegs again, like you said, the multitasking pegs. So where you've got the jeans hanging, you can go and hang, you know, your unmentionables. Yes. Um, or you can hang like two dresses, we can see there. And you know what? Some, some things, if you're hanging out these clothes, yes. They're so tiny. They are. And, and lightweight, so yeah, you it, can multi... It's, it's quite funny, because what you do, you usually go along, put it, peg everything up. So you put all your pegs up, yeah. and then you'll go along and put all your smalls up. Yes. One at a time. So you end up using oh. everything in space saving. So exactly. a lot of people who have the old Hills Hoist have a lot of space, hence 180 hegs. But yeah. if you don't, then you can space save at the same time. Absolutely. Back to this one. This is really interesting, the, um, the clo coat hanger. Mm -hmm. So many people do that. Mm -hmm. And what happens is it's against other items, which means it doesn't dry as quick either. Yeah. Or the wind comes on the ground. On the ground. Yeah. So by using that feature. Love that. Yeah. And also, if you really want to move it around, you can put yeah. it somewhere else. What an amazing gift to give someone. Yeah. It's it's different. I think, well, I, I I'm a peg. Per I like pegs. I mean, I don't like the job of laundry, but if I can get the job done faster, and I like to use the sunshine, business shirts, school uniforms. Yes. You know, uh, maybe you wear the same uniform every day. Maybe you're a policeman or something like that, or a nurse. And you've got to make sure that, like, you don't want. You could almost not even go in and iron that now. Once it's hung outside, it's not on the ground. It's absolutely perfectly dry. Take it inside, hang it in the wardrobe. That job's done. That's correct. And, okay. es and especially with the heggs, even with your uh, bras and shirts, if you really want to, just leave them in, then you can take them out and you can put them into uh, straight into your um, clothes hanger. Okay, now we have got a little bit of a testimonial here um, from Deb from in central Queensland. Is hey, Deb, Deb watching right now? Oh, hi, Deb. Hey, Deb. <laughs> I've never seen it in this format before. Oh, that's Love exciting. It. I haven't either, she so. says to you, Scott. I have had my hegs for around one year now. These would have to be the best pegs I have ever purchased. I have the orange and the pink ones. It sounds weird, but I find them uh, comfortable to use and the little hook thingies that you use for your delicates, um, you also have the option to peg two items on one peg should you need to. You are a legend, darling, and you're exactly the person that we are talking to today, but I hope we're talking to a few of the fellas out there because this can be a job that anyone can do now and you, you don't have to be scared 
said you're going to get into trouble. That's Little right, hands, and it feels hands. good. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. The other part for people with arthritis is great because you put it between here, you don't have to bend your fingers. We had a lot of recommendations and a lot of testimonials really? back in arthritis. Yeah, because you're not actually bending the knuckles. Okay. You put it between and straight on, which is great. Good point. Deb, I really appreciate that because I tell you, even people that work for HEGS and part of HEGS, the more they actually use the HEGS, then they go, did you know that you could do this? And did you know I used them there? And, did you? <laughs> and they're like, yeah, so we hear stories and I really appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, pillows. You can hang your pillows up outside Direct your air there now. Shoes. Yeah, keep uh, them off the ground. Camping, great for camping. Sleeping bags, yep. tents. So, on, and on, on and on it goes. Yeah, on and on it goes. The other one is um, with the tent pack, a couple of bags, give them to your kids, give yeah. them to the teachers because the teachers, oh. they peg all, all their the time. They so do. now, but when the string, when they have the string, they have nowhere to put them. So now they can hook them up on eggs instead of peg them up with pegs. Actually, that's a good idea. I'm going to give some to my yes. son. You might get a few brownie points. Uh, that would be great. <laughs> You've got to teacher. pick a colour. Pick a colour. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, so let's go over this offer again. Love the fact that it's got that, ye uh, that green and yellow um, triangle there with a the kangaroo that says Australian made and owned. 49717 is the item number. You've got 59.95 that you're spending. Look at that incredible reduction that you're getting crazy. Um, and you're getting blue, you're getting pink, and you can get 10 extra pegs in the yellow for three dollars ninety five i mean i would just tick that i would just absolutely tick that box it's an add-on that you just got to have you're going to use them all i mean and you could also perhaps you rent and you have to use clothes lines that other people are using yes so they could have their colour heggs and you could have your colour heggs. Yes. I mean, now we're getting right down. Now we're getting technical, but I tell you what, the amount of people that want the same colour, they want different colours, they want multicolours. It's, it is, it's, it's incredible. I've learned a lot from the things, I tell you that. <laughs> I bet you have. <laughs> well, just run through the features again. Sure, yeah, absolutely. Just, just go Let's go ahead and show you all of the features because there are quite a number of them. We'll start from the top, large ergonomic grip. For the blokes out there, don't forget, I did it for myself and it's for you. Get out there, start washing. <laughs> Got a little kick off just at the top there, just to stop your fingers coming off the edge. Okay. We have the stainless steel spring. Yeah. No rust, self-explanatory. We have the hinge three quarters of the way up. Nice wide grip, nice mm -hmm. wide opening, good for blankets, good for bath mats, good for uh, socks and etc. We have the two dual hooks, the obvious one. That's patented, by the way, 44 countries around the world. So it's an Aussie innovation, patented around the world, and we're going global with it. So it's Amazing. Exciting. All made here. and it's yeah. Well it's, done. Thank you. And then, of course, the little tiny hole in the centre up the top that allows you to move your, leave them on or take them off. Okay, so they slide. They slide. And then, of course, the one which a lot of people love is the little ball at the end. No grips, no, no, you know. It's no marks on no your clothes. No marks on your clothes. Yeah, forget exactly. that. Throw that so, to them. That's right. Yep. So between all those features, you wouldn't think that we'd spend all that time, would you? Oh, <laughs> well, no. I just think it's, it's, it's such an incredible reinvention of something that we have to use every day. We have to use pegs. It's a necessity. It's an essential. Why don't you go ahead and get the best of the best? That's what I'm saying. I'm just putting it out get quality buy once buy well that's what you're getting with tvsn 49717 you won't get this deal anywhere else i don't even know if naomi knows about it does she uh, no not yet uh, she doesn't <laughs> know about it um but we want to say a big thank you to scott for coming in today 59.95 he brought all of this in for you so that you can go ahead and really dip your foot into this incredible opportunity so we've got more great homewares coming up have a little listen to this and then we'll be back in just a second there's the deal 59.95 you say and you've got a 30-day money-back guarantee. 49717. Have a listen to this. These situations can be frustrating, can't they? And to think traditional clothes pegs haven't changed in over 100 years. Having to iron out all those peg marks and not to mention washing your clothes again after your old peg finally breaks or when the wild windy weather hits and they end up on the ground. Well, all this heartache can be avoided, you know. That's right, with this ingenious little fellow, the Heg's Peg. You must have seen a glimpse of the Heg in the news. It's caught the attention of many people far and wide. Naomi Simpson from Shark Tank Australia was so excited by the invention, she invested in the business. So what makes this little Heg such a big deal? There's a lot in fact. Where to start? Well, let's start with the very reason the Heg's peg was invented. Founder Scott Bucock picked up his wife's little black dress. He looked at the thin straps and thought, how am I actually going to hang this dress up by the straps? And then it happened, the light bulb moment. He thought, if I had a peg with hooks, 
that could solve my problem. And so the hex peg was born. Let's look at other ways the hex peg can be used. Jeans are a great one. They easily clip into the hook and stretch out so they dry with less wrinkles. Thanks to the unique lockout feature. You just stretch it out and voila. The hex wind lock feature also makes sure your garments stay on the line when the weather gets rough, so no more clothes on the ground. The hex hooks are great for delicates too. They just clip straight on. And look at this, you can hang multiple items on the heck, saving valuable hanging space. Another thing I love about the heck is the design. It's so easy to use with its large ergonomic grip, which is terrific for people with arthritis and the elderly. One thing that can be a challenge is the extra thick towels and other bulky items. No problem with the heck. The heck has been engineered with an extra wide mouth to make it a breeze. They really have thought of everything. Oh, and it won't perish like a standard peg either. It has a stainless steel spring